it's nearly Christmas, it's very early in the morning. What we're gonna do is we're setting up some scaffolding so that we can give the gift of solar energy to George Osborne's constituency office. They don't know it yet, but they're about to be given a surprise Christmas present. How long does it take to install the panels when we get up there? Uh, when we get up there, it should take about an hour. So modern, it's so beautiful. Look at it. We're so excited to be able to give these for free to the Chancellor because he won't need to rely on things like fracking of old coal power stations. But the government is doing an 87% reduction in the feed-in tariff, right? But what that's going to mean is, if you get solar panels now, it would take 30 years for that investment to start paying you back. But George Osborne doesn't have to worry about that because he's getting it for free. So he'll be making money straight away, which I think is something that he really likes. What solar energy has done to the economy has added 3.3 billion pounds in value to our UK economy. Already there are 35,000 jobs been added to the UK. And what we're standing to risk at the moment if they just cut back um, on this scale is 20,000 of those jobs going under. Could you, could you, oh, of course, we wouldn't mind one there, second. I've just asked if that could not go up until we sort, sort the problem okay. out. Oh gosh, hang on. So you're trying to say to George Osborne, look, it's probably that you didn't realise how brilliant solar is. So we better get it up there for you so you can see how good it is and then you won't want to cut it because the cuts that you're making are potentially catastrophic to an industry that supports small businesses, supports community groups, creates jobs, creates money for the economy. The only people that solar is bad for are the fossil fuel industry. So I don't know why you don't want to go along with it. Um, if you film me on this property one more time, I will Maybe drag you down the street. Uh, it looks like they don't want to have the panels. Oh, hi. Uh, is that Boris? Could I speak to Boris, please? He's not available at the moment. We've got some solar panels that we just tried to give to George Osborne and he didn't want them. And so we just wanted to see if Boris wanted them. It would be a free gift on behalf of the 80% of British people who support solar power. Okay.